beautiful creators. Welcome back for another lesson. Today we are going to be doing a lesson based around dinosaur fossils. I'm super excited about this lesson because dinosaurs are one of my most favorite creatures to learn about ever. So for this project, what you're going to need is going to be a piece of cardboard and it can be a recycled piece. This is just from an old box. You're going to need some crayons or markers. And then you're going to need a few things from your kitchen. So make sure you ask your parents to go help you get these supplies. You're going to need a half a cup of flour. So any kind of flour that you're baking with. It can be whole wheat flour, regular flour, gluten-free flour, any kind works. Half a cup of that, one-fourth of a cup of water, and one-fourth of a cup of salt. And what we're gonna to do to today is create our very own dinosaur fossil. So go ahead and grab those supplies and come back and we will create our dinosaur together. To start with, you're going to want to have a piece of cardboard that's a pretty decent size. So if you compare my hand, it's about one, two, three width of my hand. And this is a leftover piece of cardboard from a box. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than you would use for like a cereal box or something like that. If all you have is the cardboard from a cereal box, that's totally fine too. The first thing we need to do is create an environment for our dinosaur to live in. So I have grabbed some mostly brown and green crayons because I want to kind of draw a background of an environment where I think my dinosaur would have lived. I've also grabbed a couple of markers. And the first thing I want to do is kind of fill in maybe just a little bit of this space. So maybe I want to draw some of the plants that would have been around when my dinosaur lived. And all I'm going to do for that is draw a curved line out and then come back in, kind of like a shark fin. And I literally am just gonna keep coming up and down and drawing a bunch of triangles. Nothing fancy, you don't have to get crazy with it, just a wild looking plant. Maybe I wanna add some lines inside it. And then I wanna add another plant over here. Maybe this one's gonna have kind of rounded points. Go ahead and color them. And since I have this interesting kind of bumpy texture on my cardboard, I don't even have to work that hard to color to make this look interesting. I can color sideways like this, or I can even lay my crayon down and pull it side to side, and that's gonna give it that interesting bumpy texture from my box. There is no right or wrong way. I'm just coloring in some plants. Now I have my plants colored in, and maybe I just want to kind of loosely color this background with some green. It's a bright, bright green right there. I could add in some more brown. You're just, this is both, mostly going to be a background for your dinosaur. The, the main part of this artwork is going to obviously be the dinosaur fossil that you are creating. But you want the background to look interesting so that it kind of shows off this great piece of artwork that you have created. There we go. I'm liking the way that background is looking. So obviously we know that fossils are basically the remains or the impression of a prehistoric animal or organism that's been petrified um, and it's kind of made a cast or a mold in rock. But there also have been something called trace fossils that have been found and those are basically signs that organisms were present. So footprints, for instance, could be fossilized or tracks or trails. So I think it'd be kind of cool if we drew maybe some dinosaur footprints or tracks going across this piece of um, artwork. So those would be those are called trace fossils. Now, if I'm going to be doing a fossil of a T-Rex, which is my favorite dinosaur personally, and so here is kind of a little model of a T-Rex, and if we check out his really awesome feet, they almost kind of look like the letter W. And so I'm going to start with that shape and draw it kind of coming in and out 
of my background. So if I look at this, I've got a line that comes down in the middle and two lines that come out on either side. And that's basically his foot. If I kind of want to thicken it up a little bit, I can. Doesn't have to be perfect, because remember, this is just a trace fossil of his footprints when he roamed the earth long, long ago. And he does have those really cool claws. So maybe I'm gonna draw some pointy claws like that. And maybe I wanna do a, he's kind of walking across. So I'm gonna do several of that shape. So that line in the middle again, over and out. You don't have to have footprints just like mine. But if you want some, I'm gonna have one kind of coming from behind this plant. Maybe he walked underneath this plant. Maybe there's one right back here. And maybe he walked over here too. So maybe I'm gonna draw some footprints here. So I'm gonna start in the middle, straight line, out and out. And his claws are basically just triangles. And there we go. That's a pretty cool looking background to me for our next step with our dinosaur. So once you have completed filling in your background and adding some interesting plants and different things like that, we can go ahead and grab our supplies for making our salt dough, which is what we will use to create our dinosaur fossils. The next thing that we are going to do is create our salt dough. And salt dough is a really fun thing to make. You can use, you only need three simple ingredients for it. Again, make sure you ask your parents for permission before you start grabbing these items out of the kitchen. But this is a really fun material that you can make and you don't even have to bake this um, in the oven. It'll just kind of air dry on its own. So the first thing that you are gonna need is one fourth of a cup of water. So this is a cup size that's one fourth a cup of water and I have already added that much water to my mixing bowl. The next thing that I'm going to need is the same amount, one fourth of a cup, we're using fractions here, and of just regular plain old salt. So I'm gonna take my measuring cup, I'm gonna get one, cup, one fourth of a cup of salt, add that into my water. I'm gonna take my mixing spatula and go ahead and kind of mix that up just a little bit. The next thing I'm going to add is going to be one half cup of flour. This can be any type of flour. It can be whole wheat flour, gluten-free flour, all-purpose flour, any kind of flour is gonna work. And you're gonna just take all of that, so one half a cup, it's basically going to be two of this, and you're going to dump it right in. Now I'm going to take my mixing spatula, and I'm just going to kind of start moving all of that around in my mixing bowl till I get my ingredients nice and evenly wet. And you're going to see that it's going to start to kind of clump up together, and that's good. You eventually want this to be one big piece of clay. Gonna start to get a little sticky, and that's good because you want it to all stick together. And this is about as far as I can go with my little mixing spatula. So now the fun part is I get to start using my hands. So I'm gonna scrape everything extra off of my mixing spatula and put that away. And now I'm gonna pick this up and start playing with it in my hands. And I'm basically just squishing it around. It should be pretty sticky, and that's fine. Don't worry, it'll wash right off your hands with water once you're done creating. 
your dinosaur fossils. I'm gonna kind of pull up the rest of these pieces with it. Make sure all those extra pieces get in there. All right, my clay is looking pretty good. So here, and I call it clay, but it's really just dough. So here's where I'm gonna kind of start getting to know this squishy stuff. So I can squish it back and forth in my hands. If I want to make a sphere, I'm gonna do my hands round and round like this. It's kind of like I'm a, an evil villain and I've hatched a new plan, whoa, ha, 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 ha. So if my hands go round and round, it's gonna make a sphere. And the first thing that we're gonna to want to do with this clay is we are going to pinch off a small amount about the size of a golf ball. If any pieces fall, you can kind of just tap them with this and it'll pick them right back up. I'm gonna sit this over here. I'm gonna start rolling this into a sphere. Doesn't have to be a perfect one, but then I need it to be a coil because I'm gonna start with my dinosaur's head and we're gonna be making a T-Rex. So the T-Rex, as you know, has that really big, cool head. So that's what we're gonna start working on. We're gonna start at the top corner of our cardboard. So I've got my, I've got my sphere and I'm gonna start to roll my hand straight up and down and back and forth. And what that's gonna do is make what's called a coil. So I'll show you again. So I have this chunk of clay in my hand. I'm gonna roll it together in a little sphere. Then my hands go straight up and down, back and forth, until I've got a coil about, hmm, about that long. I want a little longer than the palm of my hand, but not the whole length of my hand, okay? so. Reroll that. There we go, okay? And if we look, his head is kind of a C shape, isn't it? So we're gonna take our clay, we're gonna come up to this top corner, and we're gonna lay it down, and it looks kind of like the letter C. Now, it's not quite stuck to our piece of cardboard yet, so the first thing I'm gonna do is push down just a little bit with my finger to make sure this really sticks to the cardboard. The next thing I wanna do is give him a big space for his eye. Remember they have that hole right up there, that's, that's for their eye socket, that's where their eye was. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just push and move this clay out a bit. I think I also wanna move it up a little bit right here for his nose. Maybe his jaw kinda of comes down like that. This is the fun part about this salt dough. You can move it around and kinda of do whatever you need with it. So after I have moved around my clay and gotten his head set up, I'm gonna grab my crayon that I used for my background and I'm gonna take the back side of my crayon and I'm gonna push down right here all the way to the cardboard and then I'm gonna to start to kind of move that crayon around. I wanna make that hole for his little eye socket. That's where his eye was, right? Pretty cool. He also needs one for his nose. I'm gonna push down and go round and round. Now we need to add some of those really cool teeth for our T-Rex. There are two ways you can do that. One way is to take your crayon and kind of start pushing down or pushing up, depending on which side you're going. And that's gonna kind of give him some teeth looking indentions right here. Or you can take a teeny tiny piece of your salt dough, roll it up, and then you're gonna kind of squish it with your fingers. I'm just gonna make this pointed piece and you're gonna just attach it by sticking it to that part. So you could have some teeth like this if you want. Either way is fine. There's no right or wrong way because it's your dinosaur. And maybe you don't wanna make a T-Rex. Maybe you wanna make a Triceratops or a, maybe a dinosaur that has never even been discovered. That would be kinda of cool too. So you could, you could make up something. It is all up to you. Be creative and have fun. Okay, so my T-Rex has some teeth. Ooh, he's looking kind of fierce, isn't he? I'm gonna pinch that, make another little tooth right there. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna add a long bone right here, and that is gonna be his spine. So if we look at this dinosaur, we've already made his head. We're gonna make this area right along here, okay? So we're gonna pull up another piece of our salt dough roll it into a sphere and then straight up and down 
and we're gonna lay it down and kind of see how big we want it. That's a little, little thick. So I'm gonna peel off a piece, re-add that to my clay, roll it back up, and go again. And that's the really fun thing about salt dough or clay or anything like that. You can always switch things up and change it however you want. I'm gonna pinch off that piece. Okay, I think that's a pretty good size for his, his back right here, his backbone, his spine. So I'm gonna come along, start sticking that clay to my cardboard. And now I wanna add something that's called vertebrae. So we've got these little tiny pieces right here. If you rub your finger up and down your back, you can feel some bumps along it. Those are the vertebrae, okay? And that's what we're gonna add to our little guy right here. So I'm gonna pinch off a little piece maybe even smaller, roll into a sphere and then straight up and down just a bit. That's gonna give me a little coil. I'm gonna lay that coil right over top of his spine and then stick it down. There we go. Peel up another one, straight up and down. Then I'm gonna keep moving down his back or his spine until I've got all his vertebrae pieces added. You could even do a bigger coil if you want, and then you could just break it in half, and that'll give you double. And you'll see that this salt dough is a little sticky. I think that's kind of the fun part though, right? It's fun to make messes. There. Okay, so now we've got, I'm gonna kind of thicken up right here. And I kinda wanna thicken up right there. Okay, so the next thing we need to add is his arm. And he's got kind of small, small little arms up here, doesn't he, bless his heart, okay? So we're gonna do a shape that's kind of like the letter V. So we're gonna come down and then back up. And we're gonna make that out of a coil also. So take our clay or dough, roll it into a sphere. If your clay starts to crack, um, mine's doing okay, mine's pretty good, but if your clay does start to crack and break into little pieces, you can just dip your finger in a bowl of water also and add a teeny tiny bit of um, water to your clay and it will help kind of smooth it out. Mine's doing pretty well, I don't need to add any water to it, but if your clay starts drying out, something you can do to help. So I'm gonna come right here and I think that looks pretty good for his little arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and press down. And he needs some claws, which is also kind of the V shape, isn't it? Let's pull off a little piece of clay, roll a coil. I mean, we are getting pro at rolling coils, aren't we? And now I'm gonna make a little, you can either look at it as the letter V or a really pointy C. Okay, so there's his little claw. Ooh, I like that, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and push down and attach it to my cardboard. There we go. Ooh, he's looking so good. I'm gonna give him a couple of ribs. Those are those bones that come around your chest and protect your lungs. And so they would be right around inside here. So I'm gonna do two little coils. Come right here and curve and press down. There's one rib. I think I want this next one to be a little bit smaller. There we go. Maybe like that. Oh, that's a little sticky. Let me fix that. And like I said, if you mess up, that's the fun of it. Just go ahead and redo it. No problem. Don't even have to worry about erasing with this kind of artwork, do we? All right, there's his little ribs. Now we're gonna add what's called a pelvis, and that's kind of a bone that holds everything together. Um, right here, it holds like it's good, your, it holds his legs together. It's gonna be right down here. We're gonna get about this much clay, roll a sphere, and then we're gonna take that round sphere, and we're gonna just press down so we've got it attached. And that's gonna kinda of hold the base of him together, or her. I always like to think of T-Rexes as ladies. Now, 
We gotta add these beefy legs. Again, this shape is very similar to his, his upper arm. So but this is just much bigger and a bit longer, okay? So, but it's still a coil and it's gonna come down and out like this. So I'm gonna grab some salt dough, roll it into a sphere, and then straight up and down we go. I'm gonna break it in half. Now I have two legs. So I'm gonna start right here and then bend it and press. And I want this to be a little wider, right? Because his, his lower legs are a little bigger than these little arms. Now, normally he would have two arms up here, but I can't really fit another arm up there. So we're just gonna pretend you can't really see his arm. It's off to the side. If you wanna put two arms up here, go for it. I'm gonna do his other leg right here. I'm gonna tear off that piece, I don't need it. Go right here, press this down. And now he needs those feet. So I'm gonna take a very small amount of clay, roll into a sphere, then straight up and down. And a V. There we go. Very cool. And straight up and down. And a V. Now he's got his dinosaur feet. Maybe these are the these are the exact feet that made those footprints, those trace fossils. Pretty cool. And now he needs this awesome tail. Okay. So maybe your dinosaur, if you have more room over here, the tail could go straight down. I'm kind of running out of room over here. So I'm gonna have my dinosaur's tail curve up around and behind him. So rolling it to a sphere. Straight up and down. Tear off some. Roll into a coil. Come right here and let's see. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna start pressing down and attaching this. I want his tail to more of a point, so I'm gonna squish it with my fingers. And then I'm gonna add some of those same bones like these to his tail. So I'm gonna roll some little coils, go across his tail and press down. I'm gonna use my um, crayon and kind of push in here and make his foot a little more pointed. Do the same thing with this one. And there he is. If you wanna add a few more textures to your dinosaur, you can take your crayon or something else you have and you can kind of do a couple indentions. If you wanna do something like that, if you have a pencil, maybe you can press down with that a little bit to add some texture. I just love using texture when I'm using clay or a material like this. And you don't have to go through and add this texture, like I said, I just am doing it for fun because I just, I love doing this. With this salt dough, if you want it to dry pretty quickly, you can sit it maybe in front of a fan or you can sit it in a windowsill on a sunny day, but you definitely don't want this to be the kind of clay that you would try to bake in the oven or anything like that. This is air dry clay, so it dries completely on its own. Um, make sure again that you are asking your parents or your grandparents or aunts or uncles for permission before you start going around in the kitchen and grabbing flour and salt and things like that. And I'm sure they would actually probably really enjoy helping you create this really fun project. And here we go. Here is my T-Rex. I have enough salt dough left over. I may get another piece of cardboard and 
make a totally different dinosaur with my leftover clay. If I don't have time to use this today, a good thing I can do with this is maybe get a little Ziploc bag or some saran wrap and wrap it up really tight and then stick it in the refrigerator and it'll last for several days. So I can reuse this and make something new or different with it as well. I hope you enjoy creating your dinosaur fossil with me today. Check back in next week for another new project. Have an awesome week. See you guys later. Love you. Bye.